Dr. Jesse Sanders, owner and chief veterinarian of Aquatic Veterinary Services. So today we'll be answering the question of why does my fancy goldfish float upside down at the surface after eating? Well, we're going to start with my favorite topic of fancy goldfish anatomy. So we're going to have a stand-in for this. I apologize. It is actually a koi. Um, they're cousins. So if we have, say, a normal comet goldfish. Uh, most of them are going to have two chamber swim bladders, uh, right here and right here. Now, if we were to say convert this to a fancy goldfish, essentially what we do is crush it like this. Now, now we have a short little cute body with a big tail, giant eyeballs maybe, and a giant head. But what we've done in compressing that body structure is most of the times we've actually eliminated an entire chamber of the swim bladder. Now, what this does is essentially we're trying to balance a little fish on a tiny grape or a ping pong ball inside. So A, they are prone to buoyancy disorders from the start. Now, goldfish are physostromous fish. Now, this type of fish controls their buoyancy by sucking in air and pumping it through a little duct between their esophagus and their swim bladder called the pneumatic duct. So a lot of the times what happens is goldfish vigorously eating at the surface, um, going to suck in a little bit of extra air. Can't help it. Goldfish, they're golden retrievers. They eat anything. And if you have a fancy goldfish body, that duct is probably a lot smaller than it should be if you were, say, a comet goldfish. And it has a little bit more of a tendency to accidentally get overinflated or have some air end up in the intestines. And what happens when there's extra air in your little goldfish, floop, upside down, at the surface, full of a little bit of extra air. Usually, they'll correct themselves in a couple hours as either their swim bladder is able to get rid of the excess air or it moves through their GI tract. So, best way to prevent this in fancy goldfish is to feed them a sinking diet. So, this is why that magical green pure pee trick to cure constipation supposedly works. Basically, it's just a sinking diet. So there are very good sinking goldfish diets that are available commercially in a lot of different pet stores. This will cure about 95% of most buoyancy issues. Now, there are some fancy goldfish that just like to suck bubbles at the surface. And unfortunately, there's really not a lot we can do to stop them. So in that case, they might have some temporary periods of positive buoyancy that usually correct after a couple hours. Uh, making sure your tank is the correct temperature will help because obviously that will help little metabolites move forward. And if they do have some air in their GI, it will move things through the GI tract a little bit faster. Um, if your fish is permanently stuck at the surface and you start to see red ulcerations on their belly, uh, this needs to be treated right away because goldfish, as with all fish, need to stay wet in order to have proper immune function. So a fish that is permanently stuck on the surface needs veterinary care. Um, have a couple different options, but really our biggest concern is getting your goldfish off the surface. Now, a lot of the times what we're gonna do is take radiographs or x-rays. This will help us determine if it is indeed just the swim bladder that's the issue, or if there is, say, air trapped somewhere else, like in the intestines, or somewhere it shouldn't be, like not in your organs, um, that we need to assess. So that's usually going to be the first line of defense. But a lot of the times it is treatable, um, might not be completely cured, but at least we will make your fish comfortable for the interim. So hopefully that explains everyone wondering why their fancy little goldfish like to float at the surface after after eating. It's just one of those fun things about silly little fancy goldfish anatomy that drives me completely insane. So anyway, hopefully you've learned something. If you have any more questions about fish or fish health, please visit our website at cafishvet.com. At Aquatic Veterinary Services, fish are treated like family.